fourth day of snow. It's just coming gently now. It's warmed up a bit, it's minus three. But it hasn't got above freezing as you see, trees have all still got snow for the last, well since it started. Let's have a bit of a fire, feed the birds. I'm just glad I'm on holiday. <laughs> Said bird table. Should have been done yesterday. Unfortunately they weren't, but I'll make sure they get some now. On the top of barbecue, get a bit of an idea how much we've got. About 20, about 25 centimetres on there. So it's not quite a foot. But then again, that's just what's settled on top of there without wind blowing it off. I just thought I'd have a play with this to see how the batch eater might work on it. Now, obviously, this is far from sealed, but it's burning back how I'd want it to. If you can see up there, there's flames coming out at the top of the chimney pot. And I just sort of filled this up, but it's burning as I want it to burn. Obviously I'm losing a lot of smoke and gases out of that, but it won't be like that on the on, for, on finished version. As I've got this wood to burn off, and as we've got all this snow, and I ain't going nowhere. So I thought I'd have a play with this, but obviously I'm losing heat through here, it's not all sucking through through actual um, chimney, but it sure is rocketing up there. So in theory what should happen if I do a uh, burn chamber properly or so I can uh, load it, it'll burn from front, air will come in from front and all gases should escape up the chimney. See right at the bike where it's sucking into all. Most of this is not smoke actually, it's steam. This is uh, extremely wet. Well it's burning like I wanted it. It's burnt all the way to the bike now. So I could batch load this. Now I'm looking at it now. I'm gonna build a new a new burn chamber in corner at the bottom or in the middle and set it up. I'll do it with same uh, concrete mix or cement mix with vermiculite and cement and build it because it's a complete unit in the bottom of there or a cross bike and then I can batch load it and then hopefully with oven up above and then up plate where this piece is or a little bit higher I'm still going to find some steel I've got to say I've got some one millimetre but I might have it just to well if I get basing and uh, burner going I'll test it with one millimetre but I'll make it so I can take it out and replace it because I'm sure I will have to but even though it's burning there all well, most of, most of flame and stuff are getting sucked up chimney up riser. I wish that riser is going to be a lot higher so you're going to get a lot more pull. But as a batch burner it works, even though I'm just burning it from corner to corner. It's burnt front back to the front. And the hot gases that should be sucked through normally will be burnt up inside the burn chamber where it's really hot. So I'm guessing it's worked. But as I'm out here, I've got to knock all trees, all snow off the trees so I don't break them. <laughs> That one's broke, some parts of it, it's collapsed, but uh, that's got to go anyway, that'll be, that'll be rocket stove fuel.